The vectors i, j, and k are called the standard unit vectors in R3. Is the vector 0, 4, 5 contained in the span of i plus j comma k? And we're asked to come up with an algebraic and a geometric justification. Well, notice how the span is not i comma j comma k. If it was, we know any vector in R3 is a linear combination of the vectors i, j, and k. But here we have the span of i plus j comma k where the span of a set of vectors is a set of all possible linear combinations of the vectors. For example, the span of vectors v sub one through v sub k contains all the vectors of the form shown here on the right where c sub one through c sub k are scalars. So if the vector zero, four, five is in the span of i plus j comma k, there must exist two scalars, c sub one and c sub two, such that c sub one times the sum of vectors i and j plus c sub two times vector k equals the vector zero, four, five. And now let's write all the vectors as column matrices. We have c sub one times the sum of the vector one, zero, zero, and the vector zero, one, zero, plus c sub two times the vector zero, zero, one equals the vector zero, four, five. And now let's find the sum of i and j. This gives us c sub one times the vector one, one, zero, plus c sub two times the vector zero, zero, one equals the vector zero, four, five. From here, let's write the augmented matrix where the first row is one, zero, zero. The second row is one, zero, four. And the third row is a zero, one, five. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which for the sake of time I've already done. The first row is one, zero, zero. The second row is zero, one, zero. And the third row is zero, zero, one. Let's go ahead and label the first two columns C sub one and C sub two. And now if we focus on the third row, notice how we have a contradiction. The third row indicates that zero equals one, which is never true, which indicates the system has no solution or there are no values of C sub one and C sub two that satisfy the vector equation, which means the vector zero, four, five cannot be written as a linear combination of i plus j and k, which means the vector zero, four, five is not in the span. And this should make sense because if we take a look at this vector equation here, the only way a vector can be written as a linear combination of the vector one, one, zero and zero, zero, one is that the first two components of the vector are the same. And now let's take a look at a geometric justification as to why the vector zero, four, five is not in the span of i plus j and k. Here I've graphed the sum of the vectors i and j in purple and the vector k is in red. The span of i plus j and k is the green plane and the vector zero, four, five is the blue vector. Notice how the blue vector is not in the plane containing the vectors i plus j and k, which means it's not in the span of the vectors i plus j and k. I hope you found this helpful.